Hello reception class, here is a video for Thursday's English lesson. So for today's lesson you will need a pencil and you will need the sheet that you can see on the screen which is the picture of the Brachiosaurus. If you just want to pause me and get those ready now please. This week we have been looking at this book which is a non-fiction book and it's called I Love Dinosaurs. So, so far this week we have found out about a Stegosaurus, a Triceratops and an Ornithomimus, which is really not easy to say. So we're just going to remind ourselves of those three dinosaurs by just, I'm just going to read those three pages through to you again. And we will start with our chapter about a Triceratops. Triceratops was a peaceful anteater for most of the time. However, if an enemy came near, it charged with its head down and jabbed with its long, sharp horns. The wide frill of bone over its neck made it look even more scary. Like all dinosaurs, Triceratops had tough, scaly skin. Triceratops used the long, sharp horns above its eyes to stab its enemies. And you can see that doing, you can see it doing it to the T-Rex there. Triceratops had to protect itself from big meat eaters like this Tyrannosaurus rex. So far this week we've also learned about a Stegosaurus, so we'll just remind ourselves of this chapter. This dinosaur had tall, thin plates of bone on its back. They may have soaked up the heat from the sun to warm the dinosaur up. The warmer Stegosaurus was, the faster it was able to move. Stegosaurus had a mouth shaped like a bird's beak. It used this to peck at plants. The back plates were as tall and as wide as a pillow. They were only as thick as your wrist. Stegosaurus was as big as an elephant, but its brain was as small as your thumb, so it wasn't very clever. The sharp, spiky tail was swung with enemies that came too near. Right. And yesterday we read this chapter, which is all about the Ornithomimus. So we'll just remind ourselves of this. Some dinosaurs like Ornithomimus were fast runners. Ornithomimus was an ostrich dinosaur. It was very similar in size and shape to the bird of today, the ostrich. It could reach speeds of 80 kilometers an hour when running. Ornithomimus had strong muscles in its hips and legs to take long, quick strides. The lower legs and feet were long, slim and light. Ornithomimus had no teeth. Its mouth was like a beak, pecking and snapping at leaves or lizards. Right, reception. The next dinosaur we're going to learn about is the Brachiosaurus. So I'm just going to go to the contents page to see which chapter is about a Brachiosaurus. So we've got T-Rex page four. Oh, next one, Brachiosaurus page six. So I'm just going to turn to page six now. And I'm on page six and we can see the heading of this chapter is Brachiosaurus. One of the biggest dinosaurs that ever lived was Brachiosaurus. It weighed over 50 tonnes, which is more than a huge truck. It was one of the tallest dinosaurs. Its head stretched 13 metres above the ground. Brachiosaurus had huge feet and made footprints one metre across. Brachiosaurus probably spent its whole life eating. Its neck was the same length as a flagpole. Brachiosaurus had a small head with teeth like pegs for pulling leaves off trees. The front legs were larger and the back were longer than the back legs. Right, your challenge today, reception class, is a writing challenge. What I would like you to do is to label the different parts of the Brachiosaurus. So if you just have a look at the picture, see where the arrows are pointing to, and then write what that part of the Brachiosaurus's body it's called is called. So the different parts you are labelling, you've got its leg tail, back, neck and head. So use your phonics to sound out each of those words please and if you have a go then please take a photo and send me your working reception class. And that is it for today's English lesson reception. Well done for working so hard and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye!